Wilder. And this is my reaction channel. So if you didn't even know I had one, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. We actually just hit 200K. It's lit. We're going to try and post videos on this channel every single day. The only way that's going to happen is if y'all keep spamming my Twitter, or, my, or what it's called, X now. Keep spamming my X. My X is Cam Wilder with two R's. As y'all see down here, all my socials are down here. Send me videos. You know what I'm saying? I don't be watching YouTube like that. So y'all gotta send me some shit to react to. But today, LeVar, LeVar, LeVar. Old ass, old ass, man. Unk. Title of this video is, I'm officially retired from AAU. Man. Y'all remember when we picked up LeVar a couple years ago when he was a dreadhead? Boy, them was the days. Then were the days. He was dropping 30 a game, 40 a game. It's sad, man. It's sad. LeVar will no longer be playing AAU basketball. Actually, he might play one more. We might do one more tournament before the year ends. We might do one more. But if we don't, he's done, man. It's sad, bro. That was, that Lavar used to be my number one option when he actually took basketball seriously. That we thought we had an NBA player. Some of y'all probably thought that too. I thought we had an NBA player on our hands. But Young Bull grew up, had a kid, got some clout. Stop taking it serious. It's all right though. It happens. It happens. He leveled up. He leveled up. This is what he wanted. He leveled up. We're going to watch this video, man. He did an age reveal. He did an age reveal. When he reveals his age, <laughs> we're going to talk about it. All right, let's get into the video. Here we go. What's good, y'all? It's your boy, LeVar, man. And look, bro, I know y'all can tell by the title, bro. It's cooked for me. I ain't going to lie. It's cooked. It's cooked. I'm retiring. Slight gap. Just a slight gap. I'm retiring, bro. Yes, I am, bro. Yes, the title's true. No clickbait. None of that. I'm really retiring, bro. And the reason why I'm retiring I could cry, is cry, y'all. I'm pushing on status. Yo, 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 yo. I'm pushing on status. Nigga is old, by the way. Nigga's old as fuck. Bro, I'm not gonna hold you. I'm pushing on status, bro. I can no longer play AAU basketball. That's like, I, I, I just can't. I got a kid. I got a wife. Ugh, Jesus Christ. I got a kid, I got a wife. You know, it's getting hard for me to play in tournaments now, bro, because of that. So like, you know what I'm saying? It's just- Little do y'all know, it's, it's very hard for, for, it's been very hard to get LeVar to go to these tournaments, y'all. This summer was hard as hell to get him to go to tournaments. Oh, do y'all. <laughs> uh, but he did it, y'all. He did it for the content, man. He did it for y'all. But it was hard to get him there. It's it's time for me to hang my jersey up, bro. 34, gotta sign out. Before we get in this video, y'all, I need you guys to please click the subscribe button right now. We are on the road to 100K, bro. We got 93,000 subs. Bro. Anyone watching this video, go subscribe to LaVar's YouTube channel, please. Everybody go subscribe. Get my nigga to 100K. Get my nigga LaVar to 100K. Also... I think we're gonna retire the number 34, y'all. RWE will be retiring the number 34. I feel like it's only it's only right. It's only right. Nobody in RWE history can wear number 34 again. It's not happening. I don't care if it's, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, as y'all seen, we released, we're doing some new sports. I don't care if it's basketball. I don't care if it's soccer. I don't care if it's football. I don't care if it's football. Football. I, mean, I don't care if it's American football. I don't care if it's baseball. Nobody in RWE history can wear number 34 again. Shit's retired. This is the OG. Never switched up. Never played for another team. Unlike Nelson. 
right now, bro. We're on a road to 100K, bro. I need everybody to spam the subscribe button right now. I'll wait. At this point, y'all should have hit it. it. I just want to say how I really love y'all, bro. This RWE experience, bro, you guys, the fans, y'all have changed my life so much, bro. Like, dang, y'all don't understand. I was just broke. You know what I'm saying? Let me tell y'all a story, gang. Before RWE, I was living in my friend apartment, right? There was a, uh, it was a buddy apartment. So like, it was four different rooms, four people had their rooms. So one of our other homeboys left his room, right? He stopped paying for it because he had to go to the military. So I literally broke into his room and stayed in there, bro, without permission. Like the apartment people didn't know it, nothing, bro. I stayed in there. Uh, without his permission and everything, bro, like, bro, it, it was bad, bro, like, gang, it was bad. First off, LeVar is probably gonna hate me for bringing this up. Let me tell y'all what happened when we first found LeVar. Y'all remember OG LeVar, Dreadhead LeVar? I probably told this story before. When we, when we first started bringing LeVar around, that very first trip out of Houston... Open my eyes for that nigga. He, this nigga was living in, out of one suitcase. In that suitcase, he probably had three pair of drawers, a couple white tees, three, maybe three, four. He had that long, that long sleeve black, that long sleeve black shirt he had, that black long sleeve. He had some socks, maybe two pair of shoes. And his luggage was ripped the fuck up. But I remember a time, this nigga had yellow and black Crocs. And he also had a pair of cream Crocs. Oh no, Yeezy slides. Cream Yeezy slides. They look fake as shit, by the way. But nigga. LeVar ain't, LeVar. We found LeVar at, I would say, a low point. At a low point. I'm happy to see where he's at now. I'm very happy to see where he's at now, man. Makes me happy. For y'all and for y'all that don't know my story to how I got like with RWB and shit. Basically, bro, Ken Dog, y'all know the wifey Ken Dog. She seen Cam's flyer. Mind you, bro, I wasn't a social media person. I wasn't tuned in with with um with the YouTube scene like that. You feel me? I wasn't tuned in. Well, any of that. Well, at least on a basketball aspect, I wasn't like tuned in. You feel me? Kendall sent me Cam's flyer. She was like, you need to go, go play. Mind you, I'm like, fuck no. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know what's going on, bro. I wasn't really trying to hoop for real, bro, no more, because I was really giving it up. So I didn't see no purpose in me going to go hoop anymore, bro. I'm going to go into detail about that too. But I didn't have no purpose to go hoop. But she basically forced me, bro. So I went, showed my ass, paused. I went crazy, bro. Cam was jacking me, paused again. You know what I'm saying? And yeah, that's how I ended up getting on the team, bro. What's wrong that's with this nigga? Getting on the team. This has changed my life so much, bro. Y'all don't know this, but I always wanted to do content, bro. Like my, I grew up watching Pretty Boy Fredo, Solo Minotti. DDG, like all these people, bro. I grew up Cash Nasty Flight. Like I grew up watching all these people, bro. So I always wanted to do content. I just didn't have the money to get started. You feel me? And he's already met two of them. He met Flight, and I'm pretty sure he met Cash. And and also I didn't have the confidence or like the the uh, drive to do it because content is hard, bro. It's hard to blow up. You know what I'm saying? But having boy, who you telling, nigga? Who you telling? The platform that Niggas I don't understand now, that though. You guys, as y'all helped me accomplish that dream. You know, I'm doing content now, bro. I'm pulling thousands of views. Bro, I used to record Grand Theft Auto videos off my phone, bro, like when I was like 10 years old, fam, like 10, 12 years old, bro. Like, I always had this as like a dream, bro. And y'all were able to help me accomplish that. This you, nigga over here retiring. Uh, Cam, my wife, like Nelson, like, bro, y'all all helped me accomplish this dream bro so as far as um hooping for rw i won't be hooping for rw i, I won't be playing no more but y'all will see me coaching true no cap y'all will see me coaching don't 
think I'm just gonna be RWK. No, sir. Y'all will be seeing me coaching, but I'm RW for life. What about mother? Okay, look, he about to do that with crazy crash out shit. That nigga will be coaching. But if we do another tournament like we did last year where it's like an influencer tournament where we had Deadrian, me, Zeddy, Lavar all hooping and shit, Lavar will hoop in that. And we will be doing that next year. Still trying to figure out what city we're going to do that at, but we will be doing that in influencer tournament. Um, LeVar will be playing in that, by the way. What am I dead? Like, what? Like, God, nigga. So, y'all will be seeing me coaching, bro. What's I wrong with this nigga, coach, bro? But as far as me playing, yeah, it's just cooked. It's cooked. Now, I just want to talk to y'all about, like, what's next. Because I'm not quitting YouTube. Don't think I'm retiring from YouTube. I'm not quitting YouTube, bro, at all. I'm still trying to figure out, like, what I want to do for this channel, bro. Like, I'm going to keep hooping. Basketball is not going to be over for me. I'm still, y'all still going to get to see me hoop. I just want to be playing AAU. I'm still going to be hooping, bro. But right now, I'm still trying to figure out what I'm going to do to uh, take, you know what I'm saying, my channel to the next level, bro. I ain't gonna lie, y'all. Finding to uh, level, content trying, ideas is the hardest real. shit. I'm already big right now, but I'm trying to be the biggest, bro. You feel me? Like, I'm trying to be the biggest. That's my number one goal, bro. I want to be the biggest content creator in like five years, bro. Lavar gets it hard, y'all, by the way. Just saying. Not a lot of people like him. And I don't know why. Oh. The nigga's black as shit. One. Two. He crashes the fuck out every game. <laughs> but. Lavar, Lavar, he slightly got the hard route. And I want y'all boys to stick with me and just watch the come up, bro. For real talk, real talk. And you know, for the people that's watching right now, bro, if y'all have any video suggestions or anything that y'all wanna add in the comments, Bob, like, you feel me? But like, if y'all have, I'm really not, I'm not that crazy, so I need help, man. A lot of people been, uh, I've been seeing a lot of comments on, on like my TikTok and stuff. People been asking, are you still gonna mess with Nelson and Cam, like, outside of RWE, are y'all? What kind of question is that? Wait. Bro, these dudes are literally my twins, bro. Okay, I, uh, I, nah, I had to see. I thought that nigga was gonna say some crazy shit. I, you know, I, 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 know, I just had to break it down. Shit. Bro, they, like, they like, they like my brothers, bro. Literally, like that's like family. I will forever talk to them, even if I'm not in RWE, like even if I'm not coaching. Even let's say somehow I don't coach, right? Some unfortunate happens where I can't coach. I will literally be talking to them for. Life, bro. Like these are my twins, bro. These are my brothers, bro. So, no, I'm not finna just ghost them. They're not finna ghost me. I'm gonna always be around, bro. They're gonna be in my videos, bro. I'm gonna be in their videos. Like, I'm gonna always be around. Lavar not going nowhere. Lavar ain't going nowhere, and they not going nowhere. So don't think the trio is done, cause it's not. Everybody been waiting. Oh God. <laughs> Everybody been waiting for this age reveal, bro. Put in the chat right now, how old y'all think this nigga is? How old y'all think this nigga is, man? How old y'all think LeVar is, bro? Bro. <sighs> y'all put me through so much stress. I just want you to know that, bro. When I first started playing with RWE, bro, y'all put me through so much stress, bro. I was getting called unk. Grandpa, I owe George Washington money. MLK. I, I'm old as shit. Malcolm X. Shit. You know what I'm saying? Uh, Jamie Foxx. Uh, like, Samuel L. Uh, Jackson. Bro, y'all. Bill Russell, Wilt Chamberlain. I've been saying the crazy. Oscar Robertson, LeBron, you know what I'm saying? Uh, you know, you know. Yeah, shit. You know, like, uh, World Be Free. You get what I'm saying? Um, you know, Morgan Freeman. I think I already said that nigga, but Morgan Freeman. You get what I'm saying? Rosa Parks. Uh, you know, Jackie Robinson. You know what I'm saying? How about me, bro? You know, Abraham Lincoln. And, and uh, you know, you know, uh, um, you know. You get what I'm saying? Um, Thomas Jefferson. You know, um, you get what I'm saying? Like, yeah. You know, these are just things we've heard. I'm not making none of that shit up, man. Just, you know, these are just things that he's been called. You know, 
I'm not going to confirm nor deny whether that's accurate or not. You know? But, uh, yeah. So, uh, yeah. About my age. And y'all honestly made me feel like I'm damn near pushing 30. And I'm not. Like Adam and Eve, you know. I'm not even pushing 30, bro. But y'all make me feel that way, bro. But this is what y'all all wanted, bro. And I'm finna tell y'all my age right now. I'm 21 years old. Damn! God damn, that nigga old as fuck. Shit! God damn, that nigga 21? Shit! Old ass bitch. God damn. I'm 21 years old. Yes. I'm 21 years old, bro. God. God damn, huh? Ghost. <laughs> Holy shit. Does that nigga have a 401k? Fuck. We need that shit set up now. I'm not 50. I'm not 80. I'm not 30. I'm not 27. I'm not 25. I'm not fucking nothing. I'm 21 years old, bro. Now let's talk about this. A 21-year-old man playing AAU basketball is fucking crazy. Bro, the age cutoff on AAU is like 17, 18, bro. This nigga's 21. <laughs> oh, my God. That nigga's 21 playing AAU basketball, bro. <laughs> we hid this nigga's age for so long, bro. We hid this nigga's age for so long, bro. It was the funniest shit ever. Nigga, 21. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. I was finessing y'all, bro. No cap. We was finessing the fuck out of y'all, bro. Oh, no Um, When I first started hooping for RW, I was eight. Wait, I was 18 going on 19. Like, I was literally 18 going on 19 when I first started playing. Wait, was I? I can't even remember. Was I 19 years old? I might have either been. Okay, when we first started playing, I might have either been 19 or 18 going on 19. I don't remember. It was either or. But, um,. Yeah, bro, I've always been too old for AAU. The shit, the limit is like 17 years old, right? <laughs> <laughs> bro, oh, my God, I'm crying, bro. We finessed the shit out of that system. Oh, my God. 21 years old playing AAU, bro. I don't feel bad at all. I don't care. You want to know why? Because we played people that was literally 24, 25 years old on God. So, I do not... Yeah. That nigga not lying. Fuck. That nigga's not y lying. I know my actual age. Some of y'all been guessing it, but I kept lying about it. But, um, yeah, bro. That's my actual age, bro. I'm 21 years old, gang. There it is. LeVar's 21, y'all. <laughs> yep, he's old as shit. Um, should definitely not be playing AAU at that age. Very illegal, if you look, if you ask me. Um, let me know what y'all think. LeVar is now done with RWE when it comes to playing ball, except for maybe when we do special events. He will be coaching. He will be on the coaching side. Yeah, man. Next in line to, to grow up on us is Nelson. Next in line is Nelson. I got, I found Nelson when he was 13. Now my young nigga is 15 years old, getting taller. Voice getting deeper. Feel like a fucking pops, nigga. Shit crazy watching my young niggas grow up. Shit wicked, man. Make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe. LeVar's old. 21. Also, any other video suggestions, hit my Twitter. Not my Instagram, my Twitter. Or now it's called X. Cam Wilder. Hit it. Signing out! We're getting the fuck up out of here, and that's all God. Mm-hmm.